Hey everyone, I'm Sarah Fish. And I'm Brandon Price. And this is Fish or Price Ranch. Ranch. Pull the chain. It's gonna blow up. <laughs> we have light! Woo! So Brandon built us a shed. I did not video of it, any of it because he did most of it when I wasn't here. Um, so anyway, it's a 16 by 20, but only half of it's enclosed. This side we're um, slowly insulating because uh, we're going to have our washer and dryer in here. Um, but he's got trusses every 16 inches. And then he did um, some beams that we had from... Uh, demolition job that he did a few years ago so everything is second hand including the metal um, except for the roof plywood and the floor plywood that we actually purchased but it was in the damaged section because it had gotten a little bit wet um, so we still got that for really cheap but anyway this is kind of the building this is where we're having our solar put in and our washer dryer. We're going to have a fridge and freezer in here. Other side is for storage. And then the other side through that last door is going to be our carport. And uh, that's just to house some more stuff. So here's the other side of the shed. We're leaving it open. Um, and this is just kind of a, like a little carport area. Right now it's full of boxes. We're unpacking all of our solar equipment. Uh, but as you can see, it's just, it's nothing super special, but it's going to house all of our stuff and it'll house all of our solar. Hey everyone, welcome back to Fisher Price Ranch. I'm Sarah and today we are finally putting up our solar system. Uh, we went to a garage sale and we found some metal beams that we purchased for 10 bucks a piece. So we got a really good deal and we're going to mount those to the roof and that's what the panels will be mounted to. So we're gonna get started. All right, so Brandon put all the brackets up on the roof for the solar panels, and now we're ready to put the panels on. So I'm gonna start handing them up and he's gonna bracket them to these larger brackets. So we've also got our inverters and our breaker box and on the other side, which I can't get to at the moment, is our charge controller. Those are just setting up there in place and we've got wires started for that. And we have our batteries down there, which are 300 amp batteries. We have four of those to get started. Then we have all of our solar panels right here, but I got my first one here and we're ready to get going. So these are 250 watt panels and we're putting them in series. So we're going to have three series of four panels. So we're going to connect them all together with these and uh, that'll put them in series. And then each series will have four panels. At the end of each panel we'll have a wire coming out that's not connected to anything. That's where we'll put in more wire and bring it down to our system. Well, there it is guys. Um, all the panels are on the roof. I unfortunately was at work um, all day yesterday, so it's pretty much all done. Uh, unfortunately, I did not get to film it and share with you guys, but there's still some work that needs done in here, but we've pretty much got everything hooked up. Here's our batteries. It's still a mess in here, but it's usable now. Um, we've got our charge controller, two inverters. Our breaker box, our other box that goes that hooks from the solar panels into here, and we're getting larger wire and stuff for a few of the things, um, but it's pretty much ready to go. The inverters are working, the lights are on, um, so we have to run to town and get some more stuff, but it's pretty much ready. We've got a hole in the side. We're going to be bringing wire through there, and it's going to go across um, over to the trailer, which will give us power. So we've got to run to town and get some a couple more breakers, and and uh, that wire that we buried underground comes out in our temporary uh, well shed here that we tore apart already. But anyway, the wire comes out right here out of the ground, so we'll be bringing wire over and hooking it to the solar system. 
So we ran over to our trailer into a box and we're officially plugged in and so the wire needs to get buried um, still but everything's working we did an extra box with just a plug for a trailer for my dad because when he comes to stay with his RV he can go right here and plug in so now the only thing for now that we need to use this guy for is to run the well until we get that hardwired all right, our light bulb is in. We've got some plugs wired. Got everything wired in here. And then more plugs wired. So now we're going to turn on our light bulb. We've got these two we just did. That one's tripping already. Something wrong there. Hm. What about the other one? This one's on. No, the other. Oh. Hmm. So something's up with that one. We'll have to figure that out. But pull the chain. It's gonna blow up. <laughs> we have light. Woo! All right. So we got this one working. Yeah, it was just a safety thing. Uh, it, had, it was in a tripped position when we put it in. So when we went to turn it on. It wouldn't turn on until it was all the way turned off. So you have to turn it all the way off before you can turn it back on. So now it's working. It's so exciting to finally have electricity. It's been eight weeks since we've been living here without electricity, just running the generator. And it's super, super quiet now. It's very exciting. Um, sorry I didn't get a lot of it on video because I was working when it was being worked on. But hopefully, you know, kind of makes a little sense for you. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that, that project's done. We've gotten the yard cleaned up most of the way. This is just our burn pile over here. And, uh, so our next project are goat houses. We need to build houses for the goats. We are officially four and a half weeks before kids come. Um, so we gotta get, start getting prepared for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.